Hi there. In our last video, we understood the concept of limit and continuity and found that continuity in a function is a desirable situation that will help us to take its derivative and find its economic implications as well. Now we'll try to understand the concept of derivative and its um, similar terms like rate of change, slope, etc. So for a continuous function, that is for example, y is equal to f of x, the rate of change can be calculated by using its differentiation. So rate of change is equivalent to the differentiation or the derivative of the function. So here we find the benefit of finding the rate of change. And what is differentiation? It's basically the process of calculating the derivatives. So what is derivative? Derivative is the slope of the function. We know about the slope of a function, how steep it is, how flat it is. That is actually the derivative. There is a certain decorum of finding the derivative and we will see that how we can find it out. So the derivative can be written in a certain way. If this is the function, that is y function, its derivative will be equal to this. We can see that this is a certain um, notation that is d over dx of the function y. And uh, this is the Lebanese uh, notation of derivative. And d is basically showing the difference or the change. And we also represent change with delta. So d and delta can be interchangeably used here, though there can be minor difference between them. Because d is representing the continuous function and delta can be a discontinuous or a discrete function. However, if we calculate them, their answer will be nearly equal to each other. Now the rate of change of function can be written like this, that is delta y over delta x. So it is equivalent to dy over dx, just like we wrote here. So we can equate them both, the continuous and the discrete sense of the rate of change. The derivative of a function represents the rate of change. We already know this thing, that if we find the derivative, it will be equal to the rate of change. And it is also equal to the slope of the function. So these are the three alternative terms that we can use. Here we consider this a uh, diagram that will help us to understand a small innovation that we will do in this process. This is x and this is y. And this is the function, y is a function of x. And here you can see it's a positively sloped curve and it is increasing at a decreasing rate. So if we choose point A for our analysis, that is the initial value of x, that is x0, it will lead to this value of function or this value of y. And that is equal to x0, that is the function of x0. So if we consider another point, for example, B, it means that we are moving from this point to that point and this is an addition into the existing value of x0 and that addition is from this point till that point and that addition can be represented with the change in x that is delta x. So if we add this uh, de delta x that is change in x in x0 we will get this point. So this is x0 and this is delta x. Now if I see its effect on y, that is the function f of x, it will give me this point. And this point is basically showing the function at x0 plus delta x, which means that this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x0 plus delta x. And if I consider this, it becomes a certain triangle, which is the right triangle. And uh, there is a sign uh, which is alpha and this shows the slope of the uh, angle or the inclination in this right triangle. Now this A uh, is a point which is obtained with the help of this tangent which is represented with the line C. So we must remember that uh, this uh, tangent is going to help us to find out the slope or in this case to find out the derivative or the rate of change because they are the alternative terms and graphically we know that this is a tangent at point A to this function that is y is equal to f of x. So if the slope is to be found at point A it will be equivalent to the tangent drawn at this point. 
So now we can do this mathematically as well. Before we go there, a small distinction which is necessary. This is the difference between tangent line and secant line. Tangent line, as we saw, touches the curve at one point only, whereas the secant line meets the line or the curve at two points, as you can see here. So we're talking about the tangent and not the secant. Here we are, another diagram. We have got a tangent line at this point. This is a tangent, but this is not a tangent because it is cutting the curve. It's not touching it. Here we can see the uh, same thing, replotted. Now we come to the equivalence of all these in order to summarize whatever we have learned here. The derivative of function y with respect to x is nearly equal to the discrete analysis of the change in y due to change in x. This also shows the slope of uh, y function which is equal to f of x. So you see there are three things that we have uh, equated here and this is why if I want to find out the slope I can find the discrete change in y due to change in x. Alternatively I can find the derivative of the function y with respect to x and now we can talk about the economic applications of it and in economics if I take the derivative of a function it will be equal to the calculation of the marginal function of the original function because in economic analysis we know that we want to find out the marginal cost from the total cost function so in that case I'm going to find out the rate of change of total cost with respect to the output and for that I have the tool of derivative that I can find out in order to find out the marginal cost from marginal revenue so this was the diagrammatical depiction of a tangent this was the uh, depiction of this function if we bring a change in it and hence we are trying to find out the rate of change this was a little description of how various symbols are used and how these three things are equal that is rate of change, slope of a function, and a derivative of a function. And in our next video, we'll learn that how we can do this mathematically, that how these changes in x can lead to changes in y.